My name is Melissa Vogley Woods, and I am a multidisciplinary artist. Um, I'm going to talk about a couple works that are in a show currently, which is a painting called Fleeing the Hold and a Scaliola piece um, that is one of the first pieces I ever made. Um, material, mediums that I work in are painting, drawing, um, video, sculpture, and installation. Um, the work that is in the show, Fleeing the Hold, comes from a series that I focused on architecture. That painting is one of the first ones that I brought in some figuration. And so it's pretty abstract, but you can kind of see it in the work. You can see some arms that are kind of intermixed within some archways. And that was the beginning of a series that involved uh, wrestling positions that were influenced by classical uh, wrestling as a way for me to talk about a uh, conflict. And for me, it's really representing like internal conflict or external conflict. The, the Scaliola sculpture was one of the first pieces that I made when I learned the medium. And one of the first pieces that I created that, are dim that was dimensional and really has some innovative techniques to make the patterning. The work itself is really kind of talking about weight and volume. And I was interested in showing one form holding up another form. That comes out of a series of work that I made that were kind of based on the notion of a pile or a stack. And a lot of my work is influenced from that original body of work, which predominantly were all paintings, um, paintings of kind of uh, piled stacks. Um, from, that, from that body of work, I came to make the sculptures that really look more like things laying on top of other things. And that sort of informs the painting that's on view now, Fleeing the Hold. You can still kind of see the stacking or the layering that's happening. And then the introduction of the archway, which also harkens back to Western classical forms. I was really interested in creating a space that was uh, hard to uh, navigate or, or it called you in to navigate it so that it was slightly indescribable really uh, about what you're looking at. So leveraging the abstraction was important for those works. Uh, and I was interested in keeping an openness, but also making the viewer feel a sense of closed, a closedness that you um, look at it so that, so that um, while you find a vastness within the painting, elements in the painting are being blocked by other elements. And so in a way that circles to like the stack as one thing is supporting another thing. In the paintings, it's one thing is blocking another thing. And all of this connects to some ideas about conflict in humanity or human versus our notion of nature. Um, and that how we are held in these states of conflict, internal, external, um, most of the time. Also in the painting and in that sculpture, I'm working with another conflict, which is the color versus the black and white. So there are elements that are color, and then there's elements that are black and white. And uh, at that time, I was really experimenting a lot with that contrast. And I still, to this day, do that. 